Young children hear what we say and watch what we do, including everyday activities like cooking and cleaning. There are so many benefits to cooking with your child. You don't have to be a great cook. That would be me. You also don't have to love cooking. Also me, in order to engage in the kitchen and learn a whole lot with your child. Part of the issue with um, including your child in the kitchen is you're really bringing them into what normally is reserved as an adult ritual. So by having them with you while you're cooking, you're engaging them and you're also telling them that they belong. So what are some of the benefits? One of them is if you happen to have a picky child in your home, cooking with them might help this. So rather than just present food on a um, plate for them to reject, getting them to engage with the food might mean they might try more stuff. So that's always worth it. Um, cooking is all about math. And so when you're cooking with a child, having them engage with the ingredients and call out how much they're putting into the recipe, like one whole cup of flour, counting out different ingredients, like one, two, three eggs for this naan, whereas one, two eggs for that bread, that really gets them counting out and understanding um, a bit more about math. And there's also just cause and effect. For example, if I put one egg in my recipe versus four eggs, how does that change that? So that's always good to have. Cooking also engages um, a child's senses. So more than just calling out that this is a red tomato or tomato red, you can talk to them about what does a ripe tomato feel like and look like versus an unripe um, tomato. How is this texture different from the texture of an orange? What does an orange smell like um, from the outside? And when I open it, how does it smell differently? What makes for a ripe banana, which this is not. Um, you can talk about size, weight, shape, color, all that stuff can happen. And I always like to have young children wash their vegetables with me and then talk about why don't we wash this, but we do wash this kind of um, vegetable. Um, so that's important food safety, but it's also just kind of discussing how we process different um, foods in the kitchen. Um, Ultimately, we want kids to become healthy eaters. And so while you're cooking with your child, you can talk about what makes for a healthful plate in terms of uh, proportion, the food groups, what do we eat in moderation, what do we eat a lot of, and also just having a very colorful plate. So that's all great um, in terms of discussion. What are some activities that you can do with a young child that will also engage their fine motor school skills and hand-eye coordination? Sifting flour, I think, is one of my favorites because it's fun to do, and it also uses um, hand-eye coordination for a young child. Mashing potatoes, or really mashing anything. Stirring batter. Um, just spreading different icing and that kind of thing. Using their pincher grip with tongs. They can, older kids can squeeze uh, limes and lemons. You can crush garlic using this. Even getting kids to fold a dishcloth. One thing I like to uh, recommend is that young children um, have their own set of tools, uh, kitchen tools that are clean and safe that they keep somewhere in your kitchen. So either um, in a shelf that's low and accessible or in a drawer. Um, speaking of accessibility, you want to give young children a way to see above the countertop because this is a kind of the adult world and it's where we cook. And so you want to give them that chance to get up higher using a step stool and then they can really um, engage with the tools such as this rolling pin or rolling sushi like this. From start to finish, there's a lot that goes on in the kitchen. So there's prepping the food, there's cleaning the space, there's washing your hands, lots of chances for discussion. Then there's setting the table, using um, you know, your fine motor skills to uh, fold a napkin, counting out how many napkins are needed for um, the people who will be eating with you at the table, counting them out and putting them. One, two chopsticks, four forks, three cups, that kind of thing. It's always really great to do. So what kinds of things might you um, consider making with your child? Really, I would say anything. Um, anything that's important to your family, especially a family recipe or one that has a cultural significance for you. I think those are great things to bring up with your child and cook with your child because after all, cooking is about stories. Um, so while kids love baking and they love making individual pizzas, I think the most important thing will be the time and the effort that you put into your particular recipe. Um, so at the end of this uh, video, I will show you a couple recipes that we do, one of which I mentioned was pizza. We have a big pizza for my family and then I give my child some dough that they can roll out on their own and then they can choose different toppings. And again, cause and effect, if you put 45 pieces of pepperoni on your pizza, it's going to taste a little differently than mine. Um, and then 
I also make some non-edible stuff in the kitchen, for instance, Play-Doh, um, which is fun for kids to make. I have a great no-cook Play-Doh recipe, which gets kids um, kneading dough and really creating it and becomes theirs. And then it's, it keeps for about six months if you keep it in an airtight container. So I'll be sure to put that at the end of the video as well. So in short, um, there's lots of benefits to cooking with your child, um, but I think the most important for me anyway is that they feel engaged and they belong to the family. They're building self-confidence. Those are all really important things for a young child. So thanks for joining me today. Have fun cooking and be sure to check back on our Facebook user page uh, for updates and also future videos. Thanks.